Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, how does the state prove that I was DUI on marijuana? Because there is no breath test for controlled substances, unless the state has urine or a blood sample, then each and every marijuana DUI case is going to be purely circumstantial. The state is going to have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that one, you were in actual physical control of a vehicle, and two, at that time, you were under the influence of THC to the extent that your normal faculties were impaired. Much of the state's evidence is going to mirror that in a DUI alcohol refusal case. The cop is going to talk about how poorly you were driving, how much difficulty you had producing documents and complying with roadside demands. Instead of an odor of alcohol, they may talk about an odor of marijuana. And if they find THC products, be it plant ink, oil, chewables, or other, and whether it's legitimately medicinal or not, then their case is going to be that much stronger. If they want to cover their bases, then a specially certified officer called a DRE, or a Drug Recognition Expert, is going to be the one to administer a particular variation of roadside sobriety tests, and then testify that one, you failed miserably, and two, in his expert opinion, it must be because of the old loco weed. Rest assured that as I'm speaking, there are labs chock full of scientists, and for that matter, there's plenty of garages full of inventors, all of whom are efforting at developing a presumptive test that can be used for detecting controlled substances, especially THC, by either breath or some other simple applied means. You can also bet that whoever invents and patents that first is going to be rich beyond belief. Thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, subscribe. We'll be putting out more soon.